So uh, an email address is going to be essential to um, any kind of interactions you're going to want to have with uh, either people or companies on the internet. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through getting an email address with Google. If you want to get a Gmail or a Google email address, what you're going to do is just go to google.com and you'll see up here in the corner there's a little tab that says Gmail. Go ahead and click on that Gmail link there and it's going to take you to this page where you can sign up for um, a Gmail, a Google email address. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a email address for the social media encyclopedia because we're going to go ahead and as part of this video series we're going to set up um, different accounts with social media um, providers like Facebook and we'll need an email in order to do that. So you're going to go up here to the corner and cl create this, uh, click this button right here that says create an account. Now once you click on create an account it's going to bring you to this page right here where you start your email address. So you're going to want to put your information in here. Now just, uh, just so you know there are a lot of uh, places on the internet that are going to ask for your personal information um, and they're going to be scams, which means they just want your information so they can like steal your identity or just try and um, pretend like they're you. Now, um, Google is one of the most well-known websites on the internet, and so as long as you are on the correct page, uh, you go to google.com and click that Gmail link up in the corner, and you, and you get here, you're good to go. You don't have to worry about putting your information in here. And they're only asking for your name, so it's not anything that's super private. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my first name and last name which will be social media because we're doing the social media encyclopedia. Now when you're picking your email address you're going to want something that's going to be short if you can make it short so that way it's not a whole bunch for people to remember and you want it to be pretty easy. Like for example um, my name is Mark and so this isn't going to be available because so many people have email addresses but if I wanted to you know, create an email address, I would try mark at gmail.com. Now I can check the availability of that and it shows, oh, it needs to be between six and 30 characters. So I would then want to do like maybe the first two letters of my last name after that. Um, I can go ahead and check the availability of that again and it lets me know that, hmm, that's not available. That means someone already has that email address. It gives me a couple of different ideas based on my first and last name. Uh, which, you know, for this example, I put as social media. So I'm going to go ahead and I have already checked this, um, this email address out, but I'm going to do one for social media encyclopedia. So I'm just going to do social media Inc. And this is going to be short for encyclopedia. I wouldn't want to type out the entire word cyclo encyclopedia because that would, that would make it too long and too hard to remember. And encyclopedia is kind of a harder word to spell and you want it to be something people can remember. So let's go ahead and check social media encyclopedia, which is available. So now I'm going to create a password, which it says the password I've created is weak. Now that just means that if someone wanted to hack my account, it would be a little easier for them to hack my account. Um, if I wanted to do something that was a little more difficult, I would maybe stick in some uppercase and lowercase letters and some numbers. So let's just do that. I'm going to just try a different email address or a different password and it does say it was strong. So that just is going to uh, make it a little harder for someone to try and take your email address from you, um, you know, in the future. So you can, it doesn't matter if you check these or not. Um, it's just going to make it easier for you to sign in in the, in the future because it will just go straight into your email. If you want, if you want your email to be a little more private, like you don't want it to just straight sign in for you, then just go ahead and uncheck that. If this is example, for example, a computer that you share with other people, um, for enable web history, if you want to learn more about that, there is a link here that you can check. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it checked, and if you want, you can click learn more, and it will explain that to you. So, um, let's say you forget the password you picked. Um, this is going to, this next part, the security question, is going to enable you to um, have a question that they will ask you, and only you know the question um, and the answer. So if you lose your password, then you'll be able to have them send it to you again. Now, you want it to be something you'll remember. 
Um, these questions right here are okay, but there's a question I'd rather do, write my own question. That's going to be, what is the name of your first pet? Okay, um, the name of my first pet was Dollar, so I'm going to put Dollar. And you may be thinking, why are you showing us your security question? We can take your email. Well, the way it works is... They're going to send this email, the password to your email address, to a different email address if you have one. And if you don't, they'll um, you can put in your phone number and they'll text it to you or call you and you know tell you what it is. I'm just going to go ahead and put in my other email address. Um, so that way, uh, if the uh, you know password gets taken or um, if I forget it, they'll just go ahead and email it to me personally. All right, so location, United States. I'm going to go ahead and put in my birthday. Oh, put that in wrong. Okay, now, this is a situation where the Internet's kind of being goofy. So you have to retype the letters that are in this to make sure that you're a human being and not just a computer that's trying to generate a bunch of random emails. Well, since it kind of cut it off here, I'm going to click this little arrow that's a circle here and this is going to refresh it, give me a new one. So you can see that it gave me a new one. So I need to type this in. You can see it's I E S I R L and then a space. And then we've got some weird characters here. E J one comma. Okay. So by me typing this in, it just tells Google, I am a human being. I really want to set up this uh, email. So we're going to, these are the terms of service, which just tells UK, if you get a Gmail account, this is what you're agreeing with. So if you'd like to spend the time to read through this, um, I recommend it. If you, um, you know, want to know what you're signing up for, um, I won't spend the time on this video going through it, but you can go ahead and click here for a printable version or you can just scroll through and read it. Um, I feel comfortable with the terms and conditions, so I'm going to accept those and say create my account. Okay, as part of uh, Firefox, it's going to offer me to remember my password up here. I'm just going to go ahead and click not now, just for now, but you see that there was a problem somewhere along here. It said that um, maybe I didn't enter it in correct the first time, so it's telling me you need to redo this. So I'm going to go ahead and put my email or my password in again. Make sure I put it in correctly the both times and I'm going to scroll down and it looks like I did the uh, date wrong. I just, so as far as um, putting in that date correctly, I realized that you need to put slashes. So we clicked, you know, accept, I agree. It brought me this page right here that says congratulations you've signed up for Gmail here's a quick run, run through to help you get comfortable okay um, I'm gonna go ahead and click uh, show me my account so you can see what it you know what it looks like you can see that it's signing me in here loading social media inc at gmail.com now um, we'll do another video a uh, different video that is you know how do you manage your Gmail emails uh, but for now you can see that this is this is the process you go through to sign up for a Gmail account um, and we'll go through some more details of how to work it in another video but um, for today if you have any questions as far as maybe a step you got confused on um, or you know any you know problems that you ran into as far as signing up just go ahead and uh, leave a comment or uh, message me and we'll, we'll help you out with that thanks